Welcome to the iPad Air 2 Take Apart Guide. First you will need to use a heat gun to heat up around the edge of the glass to loosen the adhesive. Once it has been heated up enough, you will then need to use a suction cup to carefully lift up on the glass. And then use a very thin guitar pick to slide behind the glass. Now you will need to slide the guitar pick behind the glass to loosen the adhesive. When the adhesive cools down, it becomes hard to slide the guitar pick. You will then need to apply some more heat. Continue this process around the entire edge of the display. Once the display has been loosened, take your suction cup and place it at the top of the screen near the EyeSight camera. Lift from the top of the display, keeping the bottom of the screen close to the casing. Once the screen has been lifted, you will see the cables from the display that will have to be disconnected. Remove the Phillips screws holding down the shield.
and now use your nylon smudger tool to unplug the connectors. Remove the screw holding down the board to the battery connector. And slide the thin guitar pick between the battery and the board to keep the board from getting power. Now remove the tape above the lightning port to reveal two Phillips screws. Now unplug the two speaker cables. Now remove the screws around the lightning port. Next, disconnect the antenna. Using your nylon budger, disconnect the antenna at the top and then remove the antenna cable. Now remove the adhesive strip along the top that's covering the Phillips screws. Remove the Phillips screws from the shield along the top. Using your nylon spudger tool, unplug all the connectors at the top. Next, unplug the two antenna connections with the spudger tool and move the cables out of the way. Now use the spudger tool to continue disconnecting the cables. Remove the Phillips screw from the shield located here. Then using your spudger tool disconnect the cable that is below the shield. Now using your spudger tool separate the lightning cable from the back case. Before you can remove the logic board you must remove the SIM card tray. Next, using your spudger tool, gently lift the logic board up and out. Now remove the screws from the speaker assemblies and use your spudger tool to pry them out.
Now remove all of the screws from the Wi-Fi antenna and use your spudger tool to lift the antenna out. Remove the one Phillips screw from the top of the cellular antenna and two from the front, and then use your spudger tool to pry it out. Remove the Phillips screws located here which are holding down the antenna cables. Next, lift up the cable and unplug the antenna. Then do the same for the antenna located here. Once the antennas have been unplugged, you can then remove the antenna assembly. Next, remove the two Phillips screws holding down the headphone jack. Once the metal cover has been removed, remove the last Phillips screw from the headphone jack and remove the assembly. Now remove the two Phillips screws holding down the cellular antenna assembly. And then use your spudger tool to pry out the assembly. Then remove the cable located here. Use a flat tool to help remove the FaceTime camera from the back case. It is being held down with adhesive. And then use a flat tool to help pry the rear facing camera from the back case. To remove the power button assembly, remove the Phillips screw located here and then using a spudger tool, gently lift the cable from the back case. Once the cable has been lifted out of the way, there is one more Phillips screw to remove, and then the power button assembly can be removed. Now remove all the Phillips screws from the volume button assembly. And then use a flat tool to help lift the volume button assembly out. Then use your flat tool to remove the microphone from the side of the casing. Lastly, to remove the battery, you will need to heat up the casing to loosen the adhesive holding down the battery. Once the casing has been heated, then use a thin flat tool to get under the battery to lift it up. 